all right this is the gen we have here the biggest petrol uh generator produced by fireman ever okay this is what we have here guys so um a client of ours called us and told us the generator refused to uh, bring out voltage okay so we're we'll looking at the generator critically to see why exactly that happened um so guys without wasting much of your time let's go straight into the video what we'll do first now is to kick the generator and just show you guys the state of the generator before we commence repair So guys, um, if you observe carefully, you would notice that the generator uh, didn't bring out voltage and even the multi-monitor didn't show anything at all. Originally, there's supposed to be something here, probably 220, 230 as the case may be, but nothing is shown at the moment. So what we're we'll doing next is to examine the alternator to see why that is so first thing first uh, i'll disconnect these wires i'll disconnect these wires just to have a good view of the avr and then the brush so let's take off the AVR first. So the AVR looks okay. But then here is the thing. Because we just got an emergency call to come over. We didn't quite come with some of our major tools. So originally I would have tested that AVR with a multimeter, okay? But right now I just can't. However, I want to take off the brush to see the state of the brush. Then hopefully we'll have an idea what's wrong with the generator. Okay, I think it's the brush. I think it's the brush looks like the brush you see the length of the difference in length of these brushes so it looks very much like the brush is faulty it looks very much like the brush is faulty so let me quickly touch the slip ring to see if the slip ring is faulty at any point but the slip ring looks good and looks like just the brush is faulty However, just to be sure, I'm going to kick this generator so that the slip ring can turn a little. I just want to confirm something because my hands can only touch this end of the slip rings and not this other end perfectly. So by the time I kick the generator now, this slip ring should turn. So I'll be able to feel the other edge to be sure it is smooth. <laughs> okay it appears that unfortunately the camera can't see this i'm not sure the camera can see this but let's see i don't need the camera okay it appears that this part of the slip ring it's a little bit worn out like it's no longer very smooth so what i'll do now is to get a smooth sandpaper and see if I can smoothen it out a little and then I install a new brush. Okay, that's what we'll do. So we'll have to go get a smooth sandpaper now to do that. All right, guys, we just got the sandpaper 
and then we had to get a brand new brush from the uh, company's care unit. So, the reason we are using this sandpaper to sandpaper the slip ring is because we observe that there is a wear here and the wear is uneven. So, what we're trying to do is to sandpaper the slip ring a little bit to see if it can at least um, give this brand new brush a better way to sit. Okay, so we'll be doing that now by starting the generator first. It's very technical, guys. What you need to do is to kick start the generator first, put the sandpaper here on the slip ring. Okay, you put the sandpaper on the slip ring, put the sandpaper on the last slip ring that appears to have an uneven um, wear. Okay. Is an uneven wear here. The put the sandpaper. So while the gen is on and it rotates, you put the sandpaper here and see if it can um, sharpen it out, sharpen the wear out. Okay, that's what we're doing. So straight up, I'll put on the generator now and do the heat. So guys, um, if you notice very well, you will discover that the part of the slip ring that looks not only evenly smoothing has been smoothing out using this part and this part. So let me touch now to see how good it is. It's way, way better. It's way, way, way better than it was before. So I will still do it one more time. I'll do it one more time. I'll put the generator on and do it one more time. Okay, let's go.
All right. It looks way, way better now. Way, way, way better. It looks way, way better now. So, what we have to do next is to fix the brand new brush we got. That's all we have to do next now. Fixing the brand new brush. And it's not difficult at all. Just fix the way you're losing it out. Okay, up next we connect the AVR to the brush. So after connecting the AVR to the brush, what we do next is this. We connect the AVR to the frame of the alternator it's quite easy Before coupling by this rear cover, we have to put on the generator uh, to see if we we'll successfully uh, fix back the voltage output. If we we'll fix back the voltage output, you will notice the, its movement here. Alright guys, we've successfully um, fixed the generator as you would observe from the digital display unit. You could observe numbers here where we saw the voltage, the frequency and the hourly usage. So up next we just couple this and we are good to go. we have been able to fix this generator but i need to say something quickly this. i need to say something quickly you observe when i was using the sandpaper to sandpaper the slip rings to clean up the slip ring please and please do not do this at home if you have a situation where your slip ring is faulty 
it's better to call a technician to help you fix it, to help you sanitize it. But most times, if you do this, it may just damage your hand. I was extra cautious and careful. Do you understand? So please do not do this at home. If you've loved our videos and you love everything we've done on this channel, please do well to like this video, right? Like so YouTube is aware that there's a good content like this and of course they will help us promote it better. If you have not subscribed to this channel, do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So when other videos like this that you've liked are posted, you are among the first to see them. Till we meet in our next class, it's goodbye from us. Take care.